Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again. It's been a while since I put up a video. Real life's kind of intruded into my uh, video uh, uh, time. But uh, I'm here with you today to uh, take a look at a long-standing issue uh, where antics and is the lack of a trash can facility. Most of the trash can apps in the, in the larger distributions, even the small distributions that use AXFCE or LXDE, those are trash can apps all come from those desktop environments and Antics doesn't use a traditional desktop environment we use a pair or actually several window managers iSwim, ISWM although it has a button bar and we've got something a lash up with icons on the desktop with the rocks pin board it's not an integrated desktop environment in the classical sense at least not the same way XFCE or GNOME or KDE LXDE I can't think of any others off the top of my head they're not integrated the same way those are. Uh, but it doesn't mean you can't have a trash can app. Now, I've covered a trash can plugin for Space FM in another video. But I think what I'm going to show you today is going to be a uh, better way to operate your trash can facility, your, your recycle bin slash trash can, uh, if you that's what you want. I'm here on a fresh install of... Uh, of Annex 13. I've been testing out some new procedures for Netflix so I've got a fresh brand new install. It's all clean, squeaky clean, but nothing I'm going to do in this video should impact um, anything you've already done. It does not require a fresh install of Annex. So if uh, if you followed my other videos and done some of the other customizations or app installations, this will not hurt a thing. Although I would probably uh, uninstall the Space FM trash plugin if you're going to use this plugin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is download the file, and I'll put a link in the notes below for where you go. But on the Annex forums, old buddy Sam K has wrote up a nice how-to of how to install the trash can, and he's got all the files packaged at the bottom of the post here: trash can slash annex dot zip. Okay, it's a small download, uh, and it's a simple how-to. Don't let the verbose of the post throw you off. It is not difficult to set up. So I've already downloaded the the package to my download folder. But basically what we're going to do, we're going to unzip some files. We're going to put them in different places. You will have to be root for some of this and we'll show you how to do that. I'm going to use space FM. You can use rocks if you want to uh, to do the file manipulations. Uh, rocks this trash can when we're done will work with both rocks and space FM. Okay, so the first step, whoops, the first step uh, is to uh, extract all the files into our home folder. Now I have already, as I said, I've already downloaded the files. This is Space FM. It looks a little different than the last time I showed it off. Got some different theming, got some different customizations going on. Nice thing about Space is you can make it look however you want. So we're going to open the file with the Archive Manager. And we're going to extract everything into the home folder. Well, except I extracted them into the downloads folder instead. Well, that happens. Okay, now they're in the home folder because uh, he says that's where they need to be. Okay. The second step is to, uh, as root, extract the scripts into user local bin. Okay, we can do that. So we need a root window. Uh, let's see here. Remember how to do this. Let's see, rocks scripts dot zip. Okay. So we want this one. Well, I thought 
I can open up a new root window. Oh, it's up here. Root window. Okay. This looks pretty busy, but we'll just... There we go. Alright, so rockscripts.zip. sure what happened there. Okay, and we need to extract these to user, go to file system, user, um, uh, user local bin, local and bin. Okay. Now I did skip a step and I'm going to go back and clean that up real quick. I forgot to actually set up the trash can. So we're going to open um, this is done as a regular user so I'm done with the root window. Trash can bin dot zip and we're going to extract that into our home folder. Now it's going to create a new folder called .local slash bin. That's where we're putting um, our new app, our, our user level applications. Okay, that is done. So now the trash can is there. Uh, okay, so that should be set up. So the next item, we created this rocks filer script, so the next item the next item is create the menu items in rocks. Okay, so we are going to uh, open the archive manager, select the rocks links, and extract it into the home directory. Okay, easy enough. Rocks links, the archive manager, and we are going to extract them into the home folder. Okay, so as you can see, we now have a link to the trash can folder. Uh, it actually uh, let's see, we have done the scripts, we have done the menu items, so actually if we open rocks, this should be accessible now. So you see we have a nice little trash can, and let's let's pick something to delete. I'm going to uh, uh, well we'll just select a file here, whoops, a little hard with a click, I'm using, I usually use a mouse for these, I'm using a click pad right now and it's kind of irritating. Uh, but you can see we have send to and there's trash can and we can say send to and add a trash can we can also well, view the trash or empty the trash so I'm going to say add the trash so that's gone actually I don't, don't think I hit it this daggone click pad drives me bonkers Drag it to the trash can. Do you want to put it in the trash can? Yes. There we go. Okay. And now if we click on the trash can, we'll see the file. If you right click on the file, you get a restore option. Whoops. I tell you this click pad, it right clicks, it is a pain in the butt. Do you want to delete the file trash can? No, I don't want to delete the file. I want to bring it back. And I'm going to do this with the keypad, the keyboard instead. Restore. Do you want to restore it? Yes. And bam, look, it's right back where it belongs. Okay. Uh, this works with multiple files. You can select multiple files. I'm going to use the keyboard again. Trash can. And the trash. Do you want to put them in and see it lists? It lists all the files. So you can say yes. Okay, they're gone. I crack the trash can back open. I can select them. Now, if you just click on them, they will restore one at a time, uh, if you want to. Or you can select them, send to, 
again trash can and restore all trash now it, it's kind of strange you can you either have to restore one file at a time or restore them all in this case I'm going to go ahead and restore them all because it's the only two files in there uh, that is one hang up with trash can is it, it only works on either all the files or one file at a time as far as the restore function goes okay so now that those scripts have now added uh, to the trash can so actually you can do something else that's kind of cool you can actually drag the trash can to the rocks pin board this part will not work on with if you're using the space desktop if you're using the rocks pin board you can put the trash can on your desktop now isn't that cool okay now what's neat is from space you can drag to that trash can that part will work see I'll say no okay all right so that part works so we have now set it up for rocks that's all it takes now to set it up in space uh, he's all we've also got scripts for setting up in space and the next step is to use the plugins copy and file command plugins copy file and we are going to um, select the trash can dash space FM dash menu items so we're going to go back to our home folder here trash can space FM menu items click OK it's going to say it's been copied into the design clipboard and now we can uh, the next the next uh, part is to in the main panel that lists both files and directories right click on some white space my space is black but that's what they're talking about empty space in the box that opens move the cursor over any item okay right click again on uh, let's see in the box that opens, move the cursor any item ie go in the box that opens move the cursor over any right click on the active item again to close the pop-up menu and right click again to open a new one that's the design menu and then we can paste the command in so now it should be there and there it is trash can and we can say add to trash empty trash restore all trash view trash same as always now if I look at if I do a selection then this will work rather nicely and there they go it does its thing now if you say no here you're going to get an error from 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 space, it, 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 you can these errors are, are are safe. But if you say yes, everything works uh, as, as it should. Um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't really respect the error codes that the rocks file file uh, trash can sends. But that will have a nice unified trash can. You can access it from both rocks and from space with no problems whatsoever. And the restore functionality, though, you do have to r run that from rocks because the, the app is actually what's called an, a rocks app directory to be technical about it and really about the only file system, file man, uh, desktop environment on the planet that uses such a thing um, is rocks. Now if we want to uh, you can also change the menu items so that the delete key uh, does that directly and there are further instructions on the uh, in the link to show you how to do that it's fairly simple uh, basically all you do is you go into trash can and you can do a right click right on the added trash can and assign it a key and I'm going to assign it the delete key and it says something is already assigned the delete that's yes I'm going to replace the current assignment so now if I select a file and hit delete there is the rocks uh, there is the trash can menu and there they go all into the trash and there they are I'm going to go ahead and put them back and just show you how the single click functionality works running it back I'm doing this one file at a time restore all would have worked just fine now if you want to set a a permanent delete item if you can see we'd still have the delete key you can still do a permanent delete this delete it is important to note this delete will bypass 
the trash can. So I like to set this to a different key value so I can still do it. Uh, and I, I typically use Shift Delete. So if you hold down Shift and Delete here, click Set, and now I'm not going to do it because it, they will be gone and I, I kind of still need those files. And I showed you how to put the trash can on the desktop. So we have now completed all of the uh, all of the uh, options. For tips, tricks, how-tos, check out antics.mepis.org. Throw up a post at antics.freeforms.org. We'll be back again with another video soon. Thanks for watching. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.